Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here to let you know all the books that I have currently checked out from the library. These are definitely not all going to be read in April, but I am going to be attempting to start most of these in April. I had a really good experience at the start of this month. I read this book in two days called Tell Me Everything, and that's really made me want to pick up much more nonfiction. Let me share with you my nonfiction picks first for my April TBR. These are way too many books to be able to finish them in April and I totally can say that up front. And then I'll show you some kids books and a few adult books as well that I have on mine that I might want to read soon. The next book that I'm going to try to attempt is called Ancestor Trouble by Maud Newton. This is a book where she looks into the lives of her ancestors and kind of looking at the choices that your ancestors made and looking at them in a critical light. Another book that I I'm excited to try out pretty soon is Eager Dreams by John Krakauer. I haven't read a John Krakauer in a while and he's probably one of my most read authors. I've read probably four books by him at this point. I think the only one I haven't loved was Under the Banner of Heaven. He looks into John Gill who is a climber. Oh he does alpine climbs. I watched the documentary on Netflix about alpine climbing. Oh what is it called? The Alpinist. That's a pretty easy name to remember, Vanessa. And oh man, that movie wrecked me. I did not know how it was going to happen or go or end and wrecked me. Alpinists are like ridiculous. I don't understand how you're changing and constantly going between like ice and rock and ice and rock. So I'm gonna read this one. I also want to read The Grim Sleeper by Christine Pelsek, The Lost Women of South Central. This is about a serial killer that targeted mostly um, sex workers in South Central Los Angeles. This has been on my TBR for a while and I'm going to listen to it on audiobook as well. Probably grim of me to admit that I wanted to possibly take this with me to on my honeymoon that's going to be taking part kind of in that area in Los Angeles considering the topic but I am really interested in this book and I'm excited to try it out. I also have Lost in the Valley in the Valley of Death, a story of obsession and danger in the Himalayas. This one's similar to John Krakauer. You can tell I'm kind of in that like survival, outdoorsy climbing survival nonfiction vibe is what I'm really wanting right now. It says in 2016 this person made his way into a remote and rugged corner of the Indian Himalayas Deep in mystical tradition and shrouded in darkness and danger, there he spent weeks studying under the guidance of a sadhu, Indian holy man, living and meditating in a cave. At the end of August, accompanied by the sadhu, he set off on a spiritual journey to a holy lake, one from which he would never return. All right, I'm gonna try to finish this even though my battery is dying. Um, I also have Save It For Later. This is by Nate Powell, who is an illustrator that I have really loved, mostly his nonfiction stuff. I've read one fiction thing that he wrote that I didn't quite love. And this one is focused on um, urgency of protest and how you feel in that moment as a parent of wanting to show your child that it's important to stand up, you know, against policies that are being made by an administration that you disagree with about the COVID-19 pandemic and also about Black Lives Matter. He's the person who did um, the March series and I really enjoy his style. I also have The Cult of We. I have this one out on audiobook already and it's my next book in my kind of series of reading about tech bros and tech startups that are way overvalued and crash and burn a lot of the time. This is focusing on WeWork. I know that there's a new TV show with Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway about this company and I'm excited to try it and understand what's going on with it. From my understanding, this is probably going to be the worst of all of the ones that I've read so far when it comes to like choices made. I also have this one out which I have the audiobook from Libra FM as well. It's called off the Edge, this is by Kelly Wheel. Flat Earthers, Conspiracy Culture, and Why People Will Believe Anything. You know someone in your life that believes these things. Um, most of us do, and she's kind of trying to understand why that is and where they get these ideas. It's something that I'm very interested in learning more about, and I'm excited to try that one. I also have a memoir called In the Shadow of the Mountain, um, which I also have on audiobook ready for me, and this is A Memoir of Courage by Sylvia Vasquez um, Lavado. This book focuses on a woman who is climbing a mountain. So again, very similar to my John Krakauer and Lost in the Valley of Death. In this book, the author is climbing Mount Everest and she's going with a group of women who are part of a group of female survivors and they're going to base camp together and it's about strength and community helping her get to the top of the mountain. I'm excited to read more about this. It's kind of giving me Wild by Cheryl Strayed vibes, which I, I would love. And then I also would love to read Watergate by Garrett M. Graff. This is Garrett M. Graff's new book, new 
tome. It's not an oral history like his 9-11 book was. I honestly don't know that much about Watergate um, and I would love to learn more for sure. A book that I mentioned in my last wrap up that I wanted to read was Uncanny Valley. This book is a look into, you know, working in Silicon Valley from the point of view of a woman and the kinds of things she witnessed and saw like culturally. It's a rare first person glimpse into the high flying reckless startup culture at a time of unchecked ambition, unregulated surveillance, wild fortune, and accelerating political power. So I'm really interested in this one to pair with all of these kind of like male voices that I've read so far. The one I'm about to start, Scoundrel by Sarah Weinman. And this is the author of The Real Lolita, which I have tried to read before and I didn't really like her style. So we'll see if I get on board with this one. This is about a convicted murderer who really had the ability to persuade people to do things his way and to like let him off more leniently. Um, let's quickly go through my fiction books. So I have Chemistry. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. It's a nice short little fiction book. Exactly what I'm gravitating toward these days when it comes to adult fiction. So I'm going to try this one out. She works in science and it's also her trying to understand more about herself. I also have Shelter by Young Yun. After reading and the loving Oh Beautiful, I couldn't wait to pick up another book by her. I'm really excited about this one and I don't know much about it. I just know that this is kind of what put her on the map. So I'm excited to dive deep into it. I literally only have three books to go so I'm just gonna film on my phone. I am sorry for all of these interruptions. I don't understand. I'm getting kind of frustrated and annoyed. We are going to make it through the video though. Another one that's kind of weird that I haven't decided if I'm going to like is The Temps by Andrew the Young and I picked this up because the way it's described kind of had similar vibes to Severance by Ling Ma and kind of how you exist in this company. What that does to you uh, when you just kind of feel like a cog in the machine. That's really all I know about this book and I'm really excited to try it out but we'll see if I get to it. It's like not at the top of my list. And then I have three kids books that I want to talk about. One that I'm going to get to really soon because I already have checked out on Libby is um, Those Kids from Flan Creek. This is Erin and Trotta Kelly's new book. I'm super excited. Erin and Trotta Kelly is really quickly becoming one of my favorite middle grade authors. This book focuses on a group of kids in this town and I'm really excited to learn more about them. I also have The Moon Within by Ida Salazar. I really enjoyed her other book which is a book in verse. Um, this one is also a book in verse and I think it focuses and it has to do with how uh, this main character is getting her period for the first time and what that means in her culture and with her family and I'm excited to see what I think about this one. And I also have Unseen Magic. I haven't really decided if this is 100% for me but I like the way that it's trying to attempt to use magic to talk about bigger issues or deeper things. Those are all my books. I have a lot of them. So I want to thank you so much for making it through this video. If you've read any of these, please let me know your thoughts down below. Or if you want to read them now that you've heard about them, please let me know down below as well. And I will see you in my next video.